let's get this set up. Mm. Oh, I'm so sleepy. This is crazy. Oh, it's too sleepy for this. Okay, let's I want to get this started. This is um this was so unprepared. I, I didn't actually plan to do this. This was a last minute decision because there's something that's um it, I mean it's kind of it's a little bit disturbing. Um this is in regards to questions and comments that I've been receiving in regards to um fibroids that's on one of my um my video post for um let me pull up this video my my story on fibroids and why i eat this way so the disturbing thing is is i'm not getting your you guys comments uh, um you're making all these these breakthroughs and you're leaving these comments but the problem is is that the comments are like layered upon layers upon layers of comments. So I don't get to see them. I'm a very tech savvy person. I mean, I've worked with, with Microsoft. I work with Google. I train people on computers and stuff. However, the, the analytics for, um, for YouTube, it's something different. And so I'm learning how that's actually working. So the thing with, YouTube is you guys aren't subscribed to my channel. And if you're not going to be subscribed to my channel, I'm not going to see all those layers upon layers upon layers of comments that you guys have been leaving me. And I've, I, I just decided to go through a lot of this, um, these comments today, I just had this nagging in the back of my head and it was like, you know what? Just go through some of this stuff. And so I did. And I'm I'm seeing comments to where you guys, I mean, you guys are having some great breakthroughs. Like introverted empath, she's like, I bear witness, it works. I tried it and all kinds of tissue fibroids began flushing out of my body. I mean, this is absolutely great. This is the type of stuff, you know, I, I want to hear from you guys, but I cannot, I will not be able to see these, these messages, these comments that you guys are leaving me simply because you are not subscribed to my channel. And therefore, 
and since you're not going to be subscribed to my channel, YouTube actually says you do not need to see your comment. You do not want me to, to know that you even exist. So I don't know that you exist. I don't know that you're leaving the comments for me in regards to how well you're doing in regards to your fibroid removal. And I've gotten a lot. There's a lot of messages here. So I'm looking at this. And I'm like, what? So I've been going through these messages. I am like dog tired right now. I mean, you could probably tell. I'm like so tired. But it's really exciting to see that there have been a lot of a lot of breakthrough with you guys. You know, and well, like I said, if you're not gonna be subscribed to the channel, I'm not gonna get your I'm not gonna get notifications from you that you even made a comment so that I can even respond to you or anything because that's the analytics of YouTube. YouTube says you do not want me to know that you exist. You just want to watch the video and you want to leave a reply and go about your way. And so that's the way YouTube is actually seeing it. You're leaving your comment and then you're going about your way. YouTube is not gonna let me, I have some comments. What is this? Uh, let me read these comments, some of these comments. Hello, Ruth L says, I've been looking for your channel for a while and then you just appeared. Thank you. Well, hello, Ruth. And I'm really glad that you found me. So definitely subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure that you click that, um, the notification bell, because then you'll know when I have the um, more videos that's going to be popping up. Um, gosh, you guys, I mean, like I said, this was... This was a last minute decision and I had I had no plan to actually do a video in regards to fibroids um, anymore. I mean, I, I put up the, the videos that I wanted to put up there. But once I started going through all the different comments, it was like, Tima, you got to do you got to do a video. And at first, I, I definitely wasn't going to do a live video I'm going to do a video. Then I was going to post it and then just let it pop up. But then I said, no, go ahead, do a live video. This is, um, I mean, like, look at this. Like, on this, let me just scroll down. There, I mean, there are people on here that's even younger than I am. That's like, I mean, because we're getting younger and younger and getting fibroids and things that's like attaching our uterus and oh my gosh it's... but to be able to read your success stories and to know that you're having these great breakthroughs um, just by following some simple things like changing up your diet you know removing removing all these acidic foods and just adding more alkaline foods to your diet and drinking more water. I mean, this is a great thing. And this, this is absolutely awesome. And I'm, I'm really hoping that um, more of you that have actually posted up under that video will see this video and go ahead and subscribe and set your notifications so that I do know that you are present, that you are here, that you want me to actually reply to your comments um, for the fibroids because like I said, I don't get to see any of that because it's because it's become layers. Like if it was like the first comment that was made up under that video or like the second one, I see it, but it's like, a comment, then there's like a comment up under that person's comment, and then a comment up under that one, and then it keeps going. I don't get to see all that. And I'm not going to see it because YouTube doesn't know you exist, and YouTube says you don't want me to know that you exist So because you're not subscribed and you don't have your notifications. So unless you do that, I won't be responding to your questions because I can't see you there. Um, a lot of you want to know some of the various, some of the other things that I've done um, to help myself out. 
And I would love to be able to share those things with you when you leave those comments. But I, again, I don't see those comments. I mean, I, I drank a lot of water. I, um, I took in a lot of seaweed. I did, I did studies um, in regards to alkaline and acidic eating. There was these PDF files. It was like all over YouTube um, back then. And so, you know, I, I'm reading this stuff. I'm studying it. And I posted those PDF files on my refrigerator. And I highlighted every type of food that I knew that I wanted to eat off of that. That was on the highest ring of the alkaline list. And so I knew those were going to be the foods that I was going to eat. And majority of those foods were all green foods. So... I went crazy, like overdosing on green foods. Any um anything that was green, all my my turnip greens, um, mustards, kale, um, I was I mean spinach. I was eating it all. Now callaloo and amaranth, they're not on there, but I love those greens, especially I mean cam am amaranth is it it sort of tastes like um like spinach but it has even more benefits to it. And so that's what I was eating. I was eating a lot of, um, a lot of kelp, you know, seaweeds, and I would make seaweed, seaweed soups. I would um, drink the broth just off of the seaweed. So I was doing a lot of things to get myself on that alkaline side. And these things were actually working in, in, in addition to drinking a lot of water. Now, before I, um, was just drinking like the spring water. I mean, any water, I was drinking water. I would I would drink distilled water, but I didn't drink as much distilled water as I would just spring water. And if I would get the distilled water, it would be the distilled water that was also ozonated and it was a uh, reverse osmos osmified. So that's what I would get. And there was really just one location that was doing that water, which was Target then. So I was getting the water from them because they were doing it. They had that um, that um, distilled water that was like that. I didn't see it in any of the stores, so I was getting that. Every now and then, I'll still use that um, type of distilled water, but mostly I'll drink the spring water. Um, but yeah, a lot of green foods, that's really what I was eating. Um, any of the vegetables that was green, that's what I was actually taking in for my body. I did a lot of meditating. Um, I cl completely cleared my space of negativity, which includes people. So these are just some of the things that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to remove all negativity from your life. Anything that causes you stress, you want to completely get rid of that because all of that is going to determine how you're going to be internalizing, how your body is going to be reacting to these fibroids because we take all of this stuff in and I'm a very sensitive person, but I have through the years, I have really learned how to block out a lot of negativity um, and just block out people and, and just things and just set my side, myself completely aside from um, just a lot of stuff. My surroundings inside of my home, I, I keep that as peaceful as possible. I don't keep a lot of chemicals inside of my house. That would be um, chemicals for like cleaning. I don't keep all that inside of my house. I keep my my living environment as clean and clear as possible. Um, even with these computers, I, I do various things um, to keep the um, the radiation from the computers from like just bombarding me. So you'll see um, maybe posts on like Facebook or YouTube where people are talking about how they're using sage, how they're using these different um, crystals or whatnot. I use sage and I use crystals. Sage, I'll burn the sage because the sage is something that um, that my relatives and my ancestors um, talked about how they would use that to like get rid of or to to just sort of dissipate the um, the electromagnetic field that was actually coming from the planet. And so now there's even more amongst us just because of these computers. So I burn sage for that to clear out any of that negative energy. I also use the crystals like the black tourmaline, like this is black tourmaline. And let me show you this. <sighs> 
I have this very large piece of black tourmaline. So I use various, and then I have like um, a lot of black tourmaline just around in my home. There may be small pieces, but it's in, in um, um, large piles that I have that's around, especially like around where my computers are. And then of course, like I said, I use the, um, the sage as well. Let me just put this back. Um, and then also, you know, like I said, I was saying I use, um, I do a lot of meditating. So I meditate to, to, to make sure that I am centered or just to bring myself back in being centered with myself and with my space and just with nature. And I don't want any of this to sound freaky or or spooky or anything like that because I, my head is not so out there in the space to where um, when I say this and I'm thinking like um, it, it's, it's not like real. When I say that I am meditating and bring myself back in the center, I just wanna make sure that I'm balanced. I just want to make sure that I am thinking in a positive and balanced way, that I am acting in a in a positive and balanced way, um, and that I am responding to my friends and my, my family and other people in a very positive and balanced way. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if, if you have any questions... Um, and you're not on the video and you just want to leave some some comments or whatever questions for me again subscribe and click the notifications and then i'll be notified that you actually left me a comment if you put a comment inside the chat right now i'm definitely going to see it and i'll actually be able to respond to you i don't really plan on being on here like an hour or anything like that um i wasn't actually planning on being on here right now but because i was seeing all these comments and i just figured oh my gosh this this is something that's um it's the sur it's disturbing but it's exciting also and it was disturbing because those comments they're just not coming over to me because i don't get a chance to see them because youtube is not letting me know that you guys are even leaving any comments <sighs> And, and I do want to be able to respond to you guys. Um, let me go back over and look at this um, this video here. Because I just think this is like really, really, this is pretty darn interesting. Um, let me see something because, let me take this down. My computer is starting to go a little bit slow. I don't have like the best internet for doing um, for doing any live videos. But let me see something. So I'm just going through some more of the comments here that that I was left. Oh, boy, and then I receive. Um, comments through Facebook, through the messaging on Facebook as well. Y'all just, oh boy, okay, let me, I wanna pull, I wanna pull this up. Except I'm not prepared because I didn't, this was just not planned to do. Um, but I wanna share something and it's not the first time that I received something like this, but this is like, this is gonna be like the, one of the bigger things that I received um, in regards to a breakthrough. Let me just find it though. Um, where, oh boy, okay, where is it? Um, I think it's, I think it's here. Um, ta -ta 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 um, where is it? It is, no, that's not it. 
Um, all right, so I'm just looking for this this um, message that I was sent over because I want to read this because this was um, this was pretty exciting when I got this. So I just want to share this um, as soon as I can find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let's get this one here. This is at least one of them. This is like one of the last ones that I received. I should have printed it out. Because just like open it up is making my computer go even slower. This is. Okay. So it's. I want to thank you for the information you share and the attempts you make to help us. I must tell you about my progress. It has been miraculous. I'm so at peace at the stop. My life, is, my life has come back into my marriage and so and I'm so, so happy. Along with the chakra information, foods you suggest for sacral meditation, um, you've, you've stressed to the group. Uh, well, information that I basically stressed to the group. I must tell you this has been a blessing to find you. I don't mean to ramble on, but please continue what you're doing. I've even used the vitamin K, except I couldn't find any of the shepherd's purse, and I've taken it every day. This is amazing. My doctor told me my blood is clotting normally as I don't have the heavy bleeding, or rather I'm no longer hemorrhaging. He was quite impressed with my turnaround from only one month since I had la my last appointment. I have one fibroid at 10 centimeters, and three less than five centimeters. The larger one is less than five centimeters and the others my doctors say are too significant now to concern over. He asked what I was doing differently and I said I decided to change my life and take control. You are a blessing young lady, a godsend and an angel. May all you desire be yours and if I could make that happen, I would. I'm so filled with joy that I can't stop typing in and crying with joy. Tima, you are such a, this was just one of the, um, and I just thought that was, that's actually quite beautiful. Um, but that was just one of the, um, of the testimonies that, that I had received. And like I said, I, I won't know that you guys are sending me this stuff because of how you're sending it to me. I don't, I just don't get a chance to see it. Um, let me see what you're saying, Ruth. Um, will the fibroids release only during the, no. It not, not only during your menstrual cycle, no, uh-uh. Um, they'll release at any point. At any point um, that, that they start to die off, they're gonna release. And it's, you actually feel something come out. You're gonna, you'll typically, well, the way I felt it, there was um, like, this This may be a little bit too much for some of y'all. Um, this might be a little bit TMI, but there's um, there was like a fluid, a clear fluid that came out. Well, sometimes it was clear and sometimes it was like a, a tinge of yellow, which is, is not urine. Um, and then the fibroid, would be released. It would be right there inside of my underwear. And so what I would start doing, I would start wearing, like I said, this might be a bit too much TMI. I would start wearing um, a pad just so if something like that was to happen, I would be, my clothing would be protected because I mean, I could be out in the field working or something and, you know, I don't want to get my clothes messed up. And oftentimes when you start to have that, that die off, there's a smell that would even come with that as well. It's, it's a rather foul smell that would come with the die off of that. No, nope. is it painful? Yes, you will. Yes, you can expect to release a, um, expect to release outside of your menstrual. And no, it is not painful. It is not painful when, when it starts to um, release or die off. It's just, what's gonna, what happened with me? It, it, they, they were starting to shrink. See, because I could feel where they were 
before my doctor even told me that I, I had them um, and where they were, I already could feel where they were. I knew that I had a knot that was like um, toward, towards my, my right side and then right in the front up under my, um, my navel. So I already knew that there was something there because I could feel it. And, and you could possibly feel, feel yours too. If you lay on your back, and just, just, just lightly, you know, just like, like this on your, on your, 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 um, the uterine area, stomach area. That's what you want to do. You just want to just feel around and you can tend to feel it. You can tend to, um, to feel it just, like I said, just depending on like where it is, you'll feel it. Um, but no, they were, they would just release. It could be. During your period, it can be outside of your period. When they release, it's not gonna um, it, it's it's not gonna um, cause bleeding. When it releases, it didn't do that with me. Um, it doesn't cause any extra bleeding or anything like that, and it and it didn't cause me any type of pain. But at the same time, I had no pain during the entire time because I I guess because I had caught it so early and I started working on it so early. Um, when I was first diagnosed with having fibroids, it was like right after my mom had, um, passed away and I wasn't ta paying any attention to my health. I, I was, I was depressed. Um, and I was like pouring myself really into my work and everything. And, and I, I had to be forced to pay attention to my health. And so when I went to the doctor and, you know, so the doctor took my, um, took the test for my hemos, the doctor took the test for my hemos and my hemoglobin level had gotten down. Well, when she tested me, I was at four, but I had actually gotten even lower than that because before I had went in, I had started back to really, really eating and eating my green foods and, and starting to pay attention. So when she took my, um, my hemoglobin test and she did like a, um, complete blood count on me, my hemos were like at four. And so she had, after she had taken that, she was trying to contact me and she was saying that she thought I was dead because she couldn't get in contact with me. And so, you know, I'm like, no. And she wanted me to have, um, a blood transfusion, but of course I was against having a blood transfusion. And so when, um, I went back over and so she took my, um, she took my blood again, the next time I went in and I was already back at, at what was it like nine and a half, nine and three quarters of my hemo, which actually shocked her. She was very surprised that my hemos had gotten back up that fast, but that was because I found those all those PDF files and and I had already marked off what I wanted to be eating and, and the things that I, I figured that I should be eating and I was ch and I had already really changed up my diet. Um, um let me see what does that say? You can feel it? Good. Yep, you can feel it when it grows and you can feel it when it shrinks. Yep, yep, you really can. So pay attention like when during the times when you notice that it shrink, pay attention to what it is that you stopped eating because you want to continue to not eat that type of food. Typically the foods that's going to um, cause your fibroids to grow are going to be foods that's going to be high in estrogen. Um, so basically it's unnatural foods. So, and starchy foods. So you, you need to like cut all of that out. If you can get your hands on, and you should be, be able to get your hands on some seaweeds, definitely get some seaweed. Um, you want to find, um, get you some kombu seaweed, get you, um, get you some kelp because these seaweeds are high in a lot of different minerals. Get you some bladder rack, get you some sea moss. These foods, they're all high in the minerals that your body is actually going to need to um, help balance out your hormones and to help get you back on track. So definitely, definitely do that. Um, 
and gosh, wow. But, um, wow. Drink a lot of water. Oh boy. Um, you don't know how exciting this is for me really, um, to be able to come on here, to be able to share my experiences and then the, to talk about the experience that some of you guys have shared with me and to read your comments here, here, liquid seaweed, you make your own, make your own. Um, and it's, it's actually pretty easy to do, um, to make a leak, uh, um, a seat to do it like a seaweed extract. And I have, um, there's, I'll put it down in the comments after this video is done. Cause I, I'm not going to delete it. There's, I'll have some links inside of there for how to make like a, um, a seaweed extract that you can drink and you could use this seaweed extract in various, various dishes. Um, just drink it down. Um, it's, it's really simple. You drink it down. Um, eat a lot of greens. I have recipes in regards to the best way that I saw fit to, to prepare your greens, to keep your minerals in contact. Um, while you're dealing with this, you do want to not eat up the breads. Leave bread alone while you're doing with this, like any and all breads. I don't care if it's supposed to be on alkaline, let's leave the breads alone. It's the starches and everything and starches turns in the sugars. Leave the breads alone. Um, majority of what you want to do is eat green foods. If you're going to have smoothies, have the, um, have the vegetable smoothie, do your green um, smoothies. And like I said, I will definitely put all this stuff inside of the, um, the comment box so that you'll know how to, to do all of this stuff. I'm, I'm going to leave this video up. Um, if there's a problem with the video, cause I believe that YouTube does save it so that I can download it and make any edits or whatever. So if there's a problem with it, just staying up after I'm done, then I'll just re upload the video so that you can go back through the video from the beginning um, for any information that would have been missed. Oh boy. Um, I do have also have a video in regards to making a seaweed broth that, um, that you can use. You can use it as like a, um, a broth for your, your different soups. And if you just wanted to use a broth for, um, for your greens, you could do that as well. But I do have that seaweed broth and some of the things, some of the, um, the root, root foods that you want to use is like ginger. Definitely. You want to have ginger in your arsenal. Um, that's, it's something really good for like inflammation flare up. So get you that any fruits I should avoid any fruits that are on the acidic level. Uh, I would say avoid it. Any fruits or any vegetables that would cause you um, to have an upset stomach, anything that you notice that would cause your fibroid, because you say that you can feel your fibroid, like I was able to feel my fibroid when, um, when it would grow or when it would shrink. Anything that you notice that would cause it to grow, you want to eliminate that. Because And I... And I hesitate to really say follow anyone's list, although Dr. Sabi's um, um, recommended food list, I think that is a really great food list. And I have adopted that as well um, as a guide, as, as sort of a guide for um, various foods. Because I, I mean, I, I really like the foods that's on there, although it is um, a bit limiting, but I really do like the foods that are on that list because that list is, is it's really um, um, supposed to be com uh, composed of the highest level of, um, of alkaline foods. So it's going to be your fruits and also the vegetable, vegetables that are going to be on there. Um, let me read the comments. Um, Ruth, there's a, the, let me see. Oh, I see what you put in. You put your email. He said, "Could." Here's the thing about 
um, doing direct contacts for me. Because when I was, I guess I, I take a lot internally. I'm a very sensitive person. And although I have learned how to not take so much into myself, I'm a very sensitive person. And dealing with my mom's um, issues, I, I internalized a lot of that, which also um, was a contributor to my illness, to, to me taking on the fibroids and, and things, because I focused so much on her fibroids to where I actually took it into myself. So I tend to stay away from personal um, issues that others may have. And, and, and I know a lot of people want to get in touch with me because they want to talk about um, their fibroids. They want to talk about this, but I, I honestly, honestly, I, those are the type of things that I, I have to stay away from. Um, if you want to contact me, really, I would say on right here on YouTube, YouTube is, is doing some different things to where um, to make it um, a bit easier for us to be contacted, um, not personally, but they set up what's called like a community. It's kind of like how Facebook has the um, the feed, but it's called community. So if you go to like um, go to my homepage for YouTube, go to my direct homepage, you'll see where it says the playlist across the top. It'll say um, um, videos, and then it says community. If you click where it says community, I make posts right there, and. I, I, I'll put up um, various information. I, I put up information um, for different things to take in regards to in regards to the vitamin K, which is how the um, and she doesn't want to be mentioned. It was private, but she did give me permission to actually talk about it and to share that post. But I, I did remove her information. But that was how she found out about it. Now, back when I was dealing with the um, with the fibros, I didn't. I didn't take vitamin K, but I the foods that's actually listed on this vitamin K bottle, and it, it's all green foods, and majority of green foods. And these foods were actually very high in um, in what's considered to be vitamin K. And I know Dr. Sabi, um, you know how he talks about um, vitamins or whatever, but I'm gonna say vitamin K because when I say vitamins, it tends to let you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So I don't want to like talk around anything. I would just want to get directly to it and say, okay, it was vitamin K, but I didn't take vitamin K back then. What I did do, I, I just went crazy on eating the certain foods, the green foods. Um, anything that I saw that was very high on the level of the vitamin K, that was what I was eating. Um, and these are things that actually worked for me in, in, um, in connection with, the other things that I was doing with the seaweed. Um, and I, I just went crazy with all this stuff because I saw that there was no time to waste in ridding my body of all of this, um, all of these toxins, because really that's what it is. Your, your body start to build up all these toxins and what it does is stores inside of your liver. So you have to clear all of that out. And by eliminating all these other foods that I was eating, and eating the foods that were um, high on the alkaline list, that's what actually helped me to clear out my body and to remove those toxins so that my um, system would be able to do what it actually needed to do. All right. So you'll find that you'll be able to um, pass your bowel movements easier because now you won't have, and even if you didn't, even if you don't think that you're um, constipated. If you're not, if you're eating, say if you're eating, um, if you have three meals and you're not passing your bowel at least three to four times a day and you're eating at least three meals, you are constipated. You won't know that you're constipated, but you are actually constipated. And I don't want to do like a race thing, but even in talking to my doctor, Black people actually have the highest turnover rate of waste from our bodies. 
So if you're not passing at least four bowel movements and you're eating like three times a day, you are constipated. And so you need to act quickly to actually bring yourself back to, to balance so that you can stop being constipated and you can start flushing all those chemicals out of your body. And that would be, you need to add more greens to your food. You need to add the sea moss, the sea, the um, seaweeds, the various kelps to your food, I mean, to your, to your diet. And you need to be drinking a lot of water to help you flush out your system. <sighs> I've been talking so much, y'all. Oh, and another way to tell if you are um, dehydrated as well with that constipation, you know how if you pay attention to plants, now a plant's leaves can will will tend to um, um, look healthy even when it's not healthy sometimes. But if you look at the root, the root will um, not necessarily root, but the the stem of it, the stem of it, it'll it'll represent your finger and the stem of it will start to look crinkly just like your finger wheel and if your finger is looking crinkly then you are dehydrated and you are on the constipated side and so now you know that you need to start doing something you need to put take more green food in and you need to drink more and more water and like i said eliminate breads from your diet um, it doesn't matter if it's spelt bread. Um, spelt is supposed to be one of the um, most natural grains to eat. Um, definitely eliminate like um, wheat. Definitely. Um, but eliminate all breads from your diet. Um, any of the, the glutens. Oh, and definitely meat. Definitely you have to eliminate the meats from your diet. I don't care if it says that it is... Um, um, what do they call like organic or if it's grass fed, any of it, eliminate all of that from your body, the fishes, leave it all alone. And I know doing these things, it can be hard to begin with, but still you want to, you want to work, um, be diligent in this guys, like be very diligent in eliminating a lot of these foods from your diet just so that you can clean it up and so that you can actually help your system to do what it needs to do. And as you are cleaning up your body, you'll start to, you you will start to notice the changes. You'll might you'll notice that your 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 mind is going to be clear. You'll notice that your skin is going to be clearing up. Um you're going to just be noticing a lot more that's going on around you. You'll have naysayers that's going to be around you saying, "Oh, well, no, it's just food." It's just food. How is food going to do all this for you? Well, it was the food that was that you were eating that actually did all of it to you. So now you just have to go and reverse it all. So reverse all those negative foods that you've been eating, put in the better foods so that you can help yourself out. Um, it's not going to be overnight. It is going to be a challenge for you. But I would say definitely, 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 definitely stick to it especially if you're considering not doing surgeries like i wasn't going to do a surgery um and you may hear people saying well it's an it's a non-invasive it's very non-invasive it's still surgery there they have to go into your body to rip something else that's a surgery so it's if you're not going to be doing that then you need to really 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 be diligent and and getting yourself well and it starts with your mind then and it goes into your body and it works with your spirit and it builds on your soul so let me see let me you're very welcome ruth you're very welcome she says i'm excited thank you for being present tonight no problem when i when i was seeing those comments like i said i i had to I had to come on and I had to do this live. Oh, wow. No grass fed. Nope. No grass fed. No, none of it. No grass fed. None of it. Don't, don't mess with any of it. Because nowadays when you, when you hear grass, I mean, here, actually, I don't even want to go there. Think of it like this. If the animal is eating the grass, 
and the grass and the grain is what's what's keeping the animal healthy and getting the animal big and and muscular why not just go right to the source and eat the grass yourself i mean don't go out and munch much munch down <laughs> on the grass but you want to eat that you want to eat the vegetables the animal that grass fed animal is eating the is eating the the vegetables so let's just take a hint take a cue <laughs> let's just take a cue from what the animal is doing and do it see cut off the middleman just just completely cut it out and you go straight through the source and eat the vegetables and eat the fruits and see and you you'll hear and you'll read where where um people are saying well if you're vegan or if you're vegetarian you can't get bulky and all that type of stuff really why why, why can't you i mean look at the animal kingdom look at one of the biggest um mammals out there which is what the elephant and i see i, I has i won't say the gorilla because i mean although the gorilla the gorilla um eats many fruits and vegetables there is a time of the year where the gorilla will eat meat there is um a type of monkey that it will hunt down and it will eat it it does it during a uh, during a particular time of the year so i won't say the gorilla but i will say the elephant so look at how big the elephant is what does that elephant eat the elephant does not eat any other animal it does not eat flesh it does not go over to the water holes and say i need to grab a fish out of there and get my eat on all it does it rummages around it eat tubers it eats leaves it get up in the trees and it eats that look at the giraffe the tallest animal what does it eat it eats leaves pick it right off the trees it's going to eat leaves look at, and then that cow again that does the grass fed what does it eat that's what you need to be eating and i'm and i gotta say this i'm not a religious person but i have read and i've studied the bible what does it say should be your food and for the healing of the earth i'm not gonna say it but i know that y'all know what it says i know y'all know what it says so go ahead type it in there what does it say what does the bible actually say should be for your healing the healing of the earth that you are supposed to use supposed to use for food go with that go with that because it's real because that is actually true go with that <laughs> um let me see are there any more um comments let me see oh thank you for this you're very welcome ancestral goddess wisdom you are absolutely you are absolutely welcome um but like I was saying earlier, I, I did not plan on doing this live stream. I did not know I was going to be doing this live stream. And the reason that I did it was because of the comments and the questions that was up under um, um, a few of my videos in regards to the fibroids that I was not getting. And because I was going through the comments and everything and I was seeing, oh, wow, wow, this is a lot that I'm just not getting. And these comments are like, old comments from i have comments from like um um like a year old and not I mean, you know like old comments but i'm not getting it and it's because of the way um youtube um analytics are actually set up if you're not subscribed you can't have the notifications checked and therefore i'm not gonna know that you sent me a comment so that i can go respond to your comment, I won't know this because YouTube will actually be saying, well, they don't want her or they don't want that person to know that they are um, um, commenting and they want to be responded to because you didn't subscribe, because you didn't click the notifications. And that's actually how YouTube works. Y'all, I've actually been on here for like 49 minutes and now I can't talk. I can talk a lot. Um, I can talk a lot, but I, I, I 
I only really planned on doing, well, I didn't plan it at all. But when I said, okay, let me get on here and do this live, I figured this was going to only be like maybe 10 to 15 minutes, to be honest. That was that was my thought. That was my thinking. Um, gosh. You guys have any any questions or anything like that? Any more questions or any comments that you would like for me to know about? <laughs> You said you are right. <laughs> Whoo, Lordy. But um, but yeah, I um I, I really just wanted to come on here and say some of what I said. And I wanted to thank you guys for leaving those comments and just letting me know that yes, you've been having the breakthroughs and then sending the messages through Messenger on Facebook, letting me know that you've been having these breakthroughs and it's awesome. It's, it's absolutely awesome to know that you guys are having these breakthroughs. When I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, that is so freaking awesome, but I'm not getting the messages. I was like, that is just absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, yep. But it's all going to start with the way you think with changing your mind to really, really change your life. It's going to start there first. You have to change your mind in order to change your life. And changing your mind, because we've been so programmed into eating in a certain way, it's going to be hard at first, but it'll get easier. It'll definitely get easier. Um, you may be so used to eating hamburgers and you can find substitutes. You can, you will, well, I do things that to, to try to get you to be very um, um, creative. I'm a very creative person just by nature. I'm, I'm just a very, very creative person. My mom was very creative. My dad was very creative, but mostly, mostly our mom. Our mom was very creative and the women in my family were just very, very, let me adjust my, my seat here. But the women in my family were just very, very creative. Like, oh my gosh. Um, but I would do this thing. Um, it's called the creative corner. And I'm going to start back doing that where I'll like, I'll put up like various, um, various ingredients and i'll ask you what would you make out of it and these are all going to be i mean of course they're, they're going to be alkaline foods um but i ask you what would you make out of this just raw ingredients what would you make out of this and it's going to get you thinking okay well these are some things that i've never heard of so now you're going to have to look into this so now you're going to start researching these different foods so if i was to say akiyoti do you know what akiyoti is See, because acciotti is something that you might want to um, add into your little arsenal of ingredients for your seasonings. If I was to say um, uh, napoles, would you know what napoles or napoles are? Napoles is is a green food. Napoles is a cactus leaf. See, so if I was to say, um, well. Well, you actually, you should know what this one is, though. If I say garbanza, a lot of you will know what garbanza is. Garbanza, the bean, garbanza, you can use garbanza for, like, so many different things, okay? Um, it's a natural bean. It's not one of those, those beans that's going to be on the acidic side. It's not going to have like um, all that starch in it. It's, it's not going to have gluten in it if you're gluten intolerant. It's not going to have all that. And you can use this for various things. So what I'm talking about, use alternatives for your food. Like um, you want to make a burger, right? And you've been dying to have this taste of a burger, but you're like, I can't have this because it's causing estrogen to be built up in my body. And this is for men and women because men and women are both being bombarded with estrogen. And this estrogen is, is just destroying our body. And it always attacks the, um, the reproductive system, right? So you wanna have this burger. 
but you know, I can't have this burger because I'm trying to clean out myself. So you can use garbanzo. Garbanzo, you can also use, and uh, then in con connection with garbanzo, see, I, I like to use mushrooms too. Um, although mushrooms, mushrooms are, um, they are high in alkalinity, but it's kind of, of a different thing with, with mushrooms because they, they kind of teeter, right? Um, and mushrooms can be very high in ammonia. So when you're doing the mushrooms, you should also, and this is also another reason why you should be doing the kelp too, because of the mushrooms. And you can use the mushrooms to do various dishes with. So what the what the um, the seaweed is going to do, it's going to actually help you to remove the ammonia from your body. So when I'm talking about, um, um, so there's various mushrooms. I I do like the I do like the portobellas. I do the oyster. I do the king oyster. I do the, I don't do like the criminy, the little white button. So I don't do that. I do, um, gosh, there's so many, there's so many mushrooms that, I mean, I, there's like the black mushroom. There's, there's so many mushrooms that I, that I like to use and I use them in combinations. But when I'm doing that, I always have some type of a seaweed some type of seafood that I'm going to be eating because the seaweed is going to help to eliminate the ammonia from your body. You can take seaweed and put it inside of a fish tank and that seaweed will actually help to clean the ammonia from the fishes because of the urine from the, from the fish tank, from the fishes, it's going to help to clean that out. That's what it's also going to do for your body. So you want to make your drinks and everything from it. There's a, let me see this post. That is exact. Hold on, I don't think it's all coming through. That is exactly what it says. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the hurt. See, messages in this inside of this chat, messages are are, are coming over a bit slow. <laughs> it's coming over slow, and I, I don't know exactly when when you're. But yes, I I see your message, Ruth. But yes, um, but you're gonna be doing um, you'll be eating. If you're going to be eating the mushrooms, definitely balance that out by adding the kelp because the kelp will actually help to remove the ammonia from your body. Um, but you can combine the, the mushrooms with the with the garbanzo and you can actually make patties for your sandwiches. I have videos on that showing you how to actually do this. Um, then along with that, you know, you want to have some greens and you can cook the kelp with your greens. I have videos on that. So these videos, the videos that I have put up, these are videos that I mean, everything is going to be alkaline. <laughs> it's all alkaline, but there are still things that I may have up that you shouldn't be messing with. So even like, um, Fonio dishes, although Fonio is, is on, um, so it's going to be doc, like Dr. Off of Dr. Sabi's list. So although that's on there, you still want to eliminate that from your diet too. And, and the reason being is that fonio, it, it's, it's starchy. So you want to leave it alone. Anything that's starchy, you want to leave it alone, especially while you're going through healing yourself. You want to leave the bread. You want to leave anything that's starchy. So you're going to be doing your research on your food be it fruit or vegetables, you're going to be doing your research on all this. Anything that's on the list, you still want to look it up and see, okay, is this a starchy food? If it's a starchy food, you want to leave it alone. Um, and again, do um, do majority of, of the green foods. That's what you, yeah, my, it's falling down. Do a majority of the green foods. And my favorites, I love dandelion greens. I love dandelion greens. And in our yard, we grew, oh my gosh. You know, when we were children, dandelions, they were just so, so available 
in our yard, right? And you just go out there and just pick it. And then our, our family, you know, we we never um, put like pesticides and stuff or had anyone to come out and put pesticides on our grass. It's like, why would we want you to come out and put pesticides out there? And we're all playing out there. You know, our parents was like, no, you know, our children play out there. The neighbor's children's play out there. And why would we want this? these pesticides out there to kill, to kill any of the plants. Or, I mean, if it's, cause if it's damaging them, it's going to be damaging the children out there. That's going to be playing amongst that. So none of that was going on. As a matter of fact, it wasn't going on in our neighborhood at all. And we would notice how there was this, um, there was this elderly, there were several elderly white couples that would come over into our neighborhood and they would have bags and they would be going around and they would be picking the dandelions and different other greens from over inside of our neighborhoods, right? And I mean, you know, and we would be like, <laughs> our parents, our parents, they knew what was up. But we were kids, but we would be like, why are they picking up weed? Why are they, why are they doing that? And so, but it was because the benefits. See, because... We're be, you'll be told that these are weeds and weeds need to be killed. But if you know these things that they are considered that that's considered as weeds are actually things that would actually benefit you. Dandelion, the whole plant of the dandelion from the flower down to the root. Very useful. You make your teas out of it. These are herbal. These are detoxifants. They're, it's good for your liver. You use the entire thing. Um, burdock root. You know those spurs when when you're running around and as a child and the you know, sticker bugs. Those sticker bugs. You get them all on your clothes because you're playing, running through the bushes, hide, go seek, and all that type of stuff. That's burdock. All that stuff was growing inside of our neighborhoods, but. We didn't know it. And we were being told, those are weeds. You got to kill all that stuff. See? And so now you have you have all these um, companies that's coming around inside your neighborhoods, and now they've been spraying. And if they've been spraying inside of your neighborhood, they sprayed your grass, you can't eat off of that for at least five years. So now you have all these different medicinal foods that's inside of your yard that you could have been eating but you just allow someone to come inside of your neighborhood and destroy your food, destroy your medicine. But now, you know, so your dandelion, your, um, your stinging nettle and stinging nettle is called stinging nettle because it actually stings you. If you touch the, um, if you touch the, um, the leaves of it or the stalk, it actually has these little stingers right on the edge of it. You touch it and it's gonna it's gonna stick you and you can be like, oh gosh, that hurts. But um oh my gosh. They use this um for asthma patients. So and I think my, my computer is sticking right now. Yes, it is it's starting to freeze up, so I don't think I could be on here too much longer. But um the stingy nettle. You make greens out of it. You make um, um, teas out of it. So look that up. Look up stinging nettle. Something that you um, you may want to add as well. Um, oh my goodness! There's just there's just so much that's that's growing inside of our yards. That's growing inside of our neighborhoods. That you just go out into the backyard and just pick it up, clean it off and use it right there. You do not have to go to the store and you can just use it for your own benefit and just continue to use it so that if there was some sort of a illness that, um, that, 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 um, root or that herb could actually heal in you it's already going to stop it. If you're, if you're, um, um, a smoker and you stop your smoking and you're using the, um, um, the dandelion root, that dandelion root will help you to build your liver back up. That dandelion root would, would um, um, work with the cirrhosis of your liver in, in conjunction with 
um, a few other things that you'd be taking along with it too. I mean, like drinking the waters and, and all that type of stuff. So yeah, you, oh, boy, if you know a neighborhood or if you know anyone um, that has these roots growing inside of their, their yard, the dandelion greens, the dandelion um, flowers all over and they haven't um, hey, go pick those. Go pick it. Pick it. Pick the stinging nettle. Pick all that. You want you want all that. Um what more? What more can I say before I um before I get off of here? Um I don't know, y'all. Give me something else. Give me something else um, before I end this. And again, the the chat is, I don't know, it's, it's really, really lagging. So I'm not really seeing stuff as it's coming in. So probably after this, after I end this stream, is actually when I'm actually, when I'll be able to see more messages or whatever that's come up. Because it's just the way that it's coming over. It's coming over like really slow. Like I said, then my computer is starting to drag now. I don't think I have much space left on my device. I work so much on my computer doing my videos and everything till it takes up so much space. And I got to get a lot of it off and put it on like flash drives and, and other stuff. Just, it's, just a, ooh, it's just a lot of stuff that I have to do with this. Um, but yeah. So find some alternatives um, to the foods that you've been eating. Um, if you, a lot of us, when 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 we're making our um, when we're making our greens, we would. Now our mom, our mom, she would put like um, um, maybe um, turkey inside of the inside of the greens. Sometimes we didn't eat pork, so. Of course, so she wasn't do, using like ham hocks or anything like that inside of it. But I know when we were um, much younger, she would put like um, maybe a piece of turkey inside of the greens. Um, sometimes when she would cook, or she might put like um, some sugar inside of it. Um, and then I know other families um, would like to put like um, um, some like grease or some type of pig fat or just something the grains to, to like tender it. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, I want you to look up, there's a, um, the vi a video that I um, recently done that I have several videos in regards to fixing grains. Turnip grains, mustard grains, kale, dandelion grains, um, I don't, I don't have a video on, on the amaranth or the Kalalo, but I do have going over to Facebook from maybe about a year ago in regards to the amaranth so that you know how to prepare that. Um, various playlists, greens. So all the greens are going to be inside of one playlist folder. Here on YouTube. So go there, go through it and see what greens that you would like to cook and see the different ways that you can cook greens. I do like a um a pre-boil and then and uh, get organic um um greens. The organic greens they tend to not use the chemicals on these greens. So and and I'm saying this that's on these greens, okay? Um but you'll see when you watch it. Let me, there's some, I see some messages coming through now. So, and actually one of the better ways to, um, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's easy to get to know me because in my videos, that's me. That is completely me. Um, I am. A, a, a free spirited person. I love to have fun. I love to laugh. I just like to enjoy life. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a religious person. I'm 
I kind of hesitate from saying that I'm a spiritual person because sometimes when you say that you're a spiritual person, people start to think, oh, you're flighting out there. But no, I'm just saying that I'm I'm connected to my spirit, my spirit. I'm connected to who I am. I'm connected to um, to my family. Um, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm not. It's not like um, it's not like something that you can't see. It's not. I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's not saying that I, there's just like these spirits, these invisible things that that I'm I'm feeling like I'm a part of, although there is the energy, right? So, and when I talk about energy and I'm, and I say my ancestors energy, let me just give you an example, right? Because I call upon my ancestors all the time, but so do you. And you may not be thinking about it, but so do you. So like oftentimes when I'm cooking, I'm zoned out when I'm cooking because that's just part of my um, creative process and creative people, artsy people talked about, you will tend to zone out when you're creating, you get into that creative zone, that, that space. Right. And if I come into um, a point where I may have forgotten how to do something or um, I'm being a bit perplexed, like I'll hear the voice of my, of my mom or, or my grandmother, or my dad, and it'll be a reminder of something that that they know about that I did with them, or maybe that I should do. So that's my ancestor talking through me, right? See, so when I'm when I say I'm talking, you know, or I'm connecting with um with my ancestors, actually connectors, and you're also connecting with your ancestor right device is freezing up let me see if there's something that i can do it's probably telling me that i need to clear up some um some space on here and i should be able to do this while i'm i'm on the computer um okay let me see um yeah i i need to um, clear out some space here because it's doing this recording it's saving it's saving to my hard drive and it's like eating up my storage like really really eating up my storage and it's probably gonna get you <laughs> oh you say that's what's up yeah that's what's up but yeah but that's that's getting to know me um, this is this is all me. This 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 the the funny way that I am inside. That's just me. I I'm funny. I'm weird. I'm a free spirit. I don't tend to play by the rules. Yeah, I don't play by the rules. I do not play by the rules. That's I am just not good. At, at working in anyone's company because I don't play by the rules. I tend to upset things. I do that a lot. I tend to upset things. I like things to go in a very smooth, um, but free-spirited type of way. I mean, I know that being in, in a free-spirited, natural way, there are going to be these bumps. But these created bumps that come from a structure... I, Nah, I'm just not with that. I'm not with that. And then also working in the corporate world like I used to because with Microsoft and doing stuff with Google, I mean, they grabbed me like right from school. I did not apply for them. They grabbed me like from school. Oh, it's really freezing up. But, oh my goodness. But working in, in, in a corporate world, man. It's like this world is really, really set up for stress um, because it doesn't move free. You know what I'm saying? There's no no free movement with it. There's always something that's going to that's going to be stressful to you. So I had to get out of it. I had to get out of it. And 
all this stress, it, it takes a toll on your mind. It takes a toll on your body and it goes into your spirit and it, and it hurts your soul. So I had to, I had to be out of that. And in, in all honestly, I'm not a very, very talkative person, although I was, I've been on here for like an hour, over an hour right now. Mm, yeah. But in all honesty, I, I'm a pretty, um, I'm a pretty private person creativity level is 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 so much so to the point where it likes to want to explode from me and so youtube is just one it's it's 